In the past video, you learned about attributes. Our task is to save a photo into core data. What type of attribute would you use to set for the image? Well, an image is easily converted into an NSData object. You can simply create an attribute of a binary data, convert the image to an NSData, and then save. But what happens when you're working with high resolution images or really large data sets? As you add larger data sets to core data, you will slow down the access time. Thankfully, core data does come with a solution. When you select the binary data type, you have an option to allow for external storage. By selecting this op option, core data saves a reference to the data. The data itself is, is saved outside of the data store, which will make for faster access. Okay, now what we're going to do is add a photo to our model. So here I have our sample project open. I'm gonna select the model file. And in the attributes section, I'm gonna click the plus sign. I'm gonna give this the name of photo. And for a type, I'm gonna choose binary data. So I'll, I'll select that there. Now I'll, I'll open the right hand pane and you can see we have all these different options. And I'm going to choose allows external storage like so. Okay, with all that done, we now need to regenerate our model. So I'm gonna select my friend's core data properties here, and I'm gonna delete this. I'll just move that to the trash. Now I'll reselect my model one more time. I'll click editor, and then choose create NS managed object subclass. I'll make sure that the model is selected and the friend is selected as well. And I'll save this in my project and then drag it down here. You'll notice that we have our new attribute and it's a type of NS data. Okay, let's, let's enable our new attribute. I'm gonna open up the main view controller here. I'm gonna scroll up to the top of this file and I'm gonna take this dictionary here and I'm gonna delete it. Since we're getting our images directly from core data, we don't need that anymore. First thing we need to do is update our image picker to set the picked image to our friend. So I'm gonna go to the jump bar here and I'm looking for did finish picking. You can see we have it right here. We'll jump down over here. And this is adding the picked image to our dictionary. We're gonna get rid of that here. And instead we're gonna set it to our friend. Now we need to convert our image to an NS data. So we'll use the method UI image ping representation. We're gonna pass in our image and then we're gonna cast this as an NS data. Now ultimately we wanna save this change. So in our app delegate, we're gonna call our save context method. Now that we saved the data, we want to read it back. I'm gonna head back to my jump bar and I'm gonna type in cell for item at. And this gets me my method for my collection view. And this is where we've been setting everything. You can see we have this if let block here. We're gonna delete this. We're gonna add our own. First, we check to see if there's a photo. If it is, we're gonna set the image views image to be this type of photo by passing in the data. Otherwise, we're just gonna set a placeholder image. Lastly, we need to enable the editing of photos. So up in view will appear, we'll add, here we can find it right over here. We'll just add this one method call show edit button, like so. Now let's build and run. And you can see now we have our edit button. I'm gonna tap that. I'm gonna select that person. And you can see we have a camera roll here. We'll just pick any photo like so. And you can see this adds it to this person. Now I'll just tap done. And now let's stop the app. Let's restart it one more time. And look at that, we get our image back.